back, everyone. This is Aiden. We're back on the Too Crafty Vanilla SMPM server. Don't uh, don't mind the red blocks on top of my tower over there. That's a little prank video, but uh, to line up with the other perspective, it's not gonna come out till after this video. But yeah, you'll see what you'll see what happened over there shortly. But as promised two episodes ago, I said we were going to start working with villagers. In the last episode, we started setting up some stuff to get a breeder going, and now I have it. So these are just where I was manually breeding stuff. I've still got some guys stuck in here. Most of these guys will probably get shot up to the next layer of the golem farm that I'm going to build soon. I'm going to build it off camera. I'm literally just going to replicate this, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see that later. But... Alright, over here we have a little breeding area. And I actually apparently built it just a little too far out of the circle. They ignore this corner right here. It's hard to tell right now because I've got it, the breeder turned off so the crops are growing all over. But when it's not, you can actually see this section right here. They just completely ignore it. It's outside the village. But we have just four villagers chilling in there and a zombie yeah. and I used a actual zombie instead of a zombie pigman because it was easier just to toss him in there it's just a regular zombie holding an item so because of that I have the corners filled in as well now, with the zombie pigman you wouldn't need that because the zombie pigmen don't attack the villagers but the villagers will run from either one with the zombie I gotta make sure he doesn't kill a villager and, and mess them all up so uh, just added the corners in we're all good all the way around here is just a little empty spot. You can kind of hopefully see in the video that water running down there. As they breed, they'll pop out the little babies. The babies see the zombie and they kind of, ah, and then jump off. And that water is just going to a little channel. I, I actually do want to show a little piece of that because I had to make an adjustment for 1.13 that I normally wouldn't have had to do. Uh, so that's just the platform up there. You can see the villagers. The babies can jump off. They land in the water. I actually had to make this spot two blocks tall. And I also had to push the water forward. So I was finding the babies, the villagers jump higher than water. I'm sure it's not just villagers, but they're jumping higher than they used to. So you can see this is two. In previous versions of Minecraft, I should only be able to bounce up and down. But watch. Whoop. I can jump all the way up into this water stream. Uh, which just goes, it uh, falls right through there. You can kind of almost see. There's a bunch of villagers down there. Um, but because they, everything's jumping higher, I had to put a two block gap or the babies were jumping up. This is to filter out the babies so that our sorter only has adult villagers. And I also found, so originally I had just one block of water coming there and this block wasn't there so it would fall down and then flow. And then they weren't quite able to get the top right there. So I actually had to add the block and then put a second source block right there so that this is just a smidge higher. And now the babies can't quite jump up, but as soon as they become adults, they'll shove their heads through. And, uh, and down they go. So that's, that's our breeder. And then right up here, let me go ahead and uh, just close this in permanently. I don't need it anymore. We have our on-off switch inside this little tube right here and I literally just made a little tube stuck a villager in the center dispenser at, at the top and soul sound at the bottom totally not necessary I put it in just to make it cooler so we hit the button it toggles the water he comes down now our villager should start breeding if we sat here and watched him for a second it probably wouldn't take very long for them to start getting busy and then when we want to turn it off we just click our button the water flows and he shoots up to the top, turns off the breeder. So let's take a quick run. I'm going to keep this episode short. So I've, I've got to go down. I don't have a good access for it. I have to run through a whole bunch of stuff to get to it. So I'll be right back. Here we are. Underneath. Our breeder is just straight up there. Here's the uh, pile of villagers I've got stored up. If we follow this track... It goes and connects into our trading hall to fill up. And right now, like I said, i got a bad way to get down here. I'm going to have to fix it later. Right now, I had to run all the way down through my tower, through the shop, 
through the trading hall, underneath the trading hall, back up into where they were going to sort, and then down this tunnel to here. So what we have to do first is get the villagers out. Uh, so the simple version is we're going to do that. Easy, right? Okay. We're going to try to keep this for now as absolutely simple as possible. I need, I think, two levers. I've got kind of an idea in my head. So for that, we just we just need this, and then the idea is we can just keep shoving a mine cart back and forth through here, and hopefully, if it's crowded enough, it shouldn't have any issue yanking out a villager. And then let's see. From here, we will need a button to click to shove them on their merry way. And then we need a cart. We're going to take a track like this. And I also need two levers. So what we want to be able to do is when we pull them out. Is that going to work? Uh, yes. And we want it like that by default. So we get them. And our first choice is keep the villager or kill the villager. Now we're far enough away from the village that killing the villager won't do any harm. So if we want to kill it, we'll just probably just slice them. Let's not get too fancy, okay? And then if we decide to keep them, we also need to make the decision of do we send them off to the trading hall? Uh, there we go. Do we send them off to the trading hall? to keep for trading or do we store them for later use so this would be if we pull out uh, the brown shirt villagers we don't want to necessarily keep them for training we may want to back away because they're kind of loud we may want to keep them to make like an automatic carrot potato farm that kind of thing uh, or something else and if that's the case if we have unwanted farmer type villagers what or most likely the other one would be nitwits if we want to have some nitwits to have some fun with, because I, I definitely want to do some things with the nitwits, but we'll get to that later. So the idea is if we get any of those, we want the track, we'd flip this, so they'll jump the cart, they'll go this way, they'll stop right there, and then the idea is I can break the cart and shove them into whichever side, one side for nitwits, one side for the farmers. And then if we want them in the trading hall, we would just, you know, flip it so they'll go forward around the thing and they'll zoom off to the next available trading slot, right? Okay, so seems simple, should work. Let's try it, okay? <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, we're, I think for right now we're literally just going to keep it that simple. Let's build a few minecarts and try it out. So if we just, let's see, we want it flipped that way, shove that in there, and hmm, <laughs> you gotta go to the wall, okay, so we got a weaponsmith, we want to keep the weaponsmith in the trading hall, so we want him to go as that way, we push the button, and he should, let's follow the first one to make sure everything is good over here, it should be, it's not too far. It's going to turn about right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, there he goes. Okay. And he should have fallen into the first slot right here, which he did. And it is now set to go to the next slot. And if we come around into the actual hall, we need some better access at some point. But he should be, there we go, all trapped in here and ready to be unlocked. Perfect. Perfect. So let's let's pull a few more villagers out and get some stuff filled up. So let's put that there. Grab another villager. We've got a librarian. We're going to want a bunch of librarians. So we want to send you off to the trading hall. And then we can get a leather worker. For now, let's not even bother. Well, yeah. Eh. Leather workers are the ones with saddles, right? I'm going to alt-tab here, so don't mind the uh, lameness. I, I'm pretty sure they're the ones who make saddles. I'm honestly a bit out of practice 
Click here. I should have had this up beforehand. I didn't think about it. Leather workers are the ones that make saddles. Yes. So you know what? Let's let's go ahead and keep them. Why not? We've got plenty of room. Just one leather worker is plenty. Let's just make a buttload more of these. What else can we get? We have a cartographer. Cartographers, they make the maps, but I don't think we're going to worry about them for now, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more in. So we have an unwanted villager, and now we don't. And then we should just be able to click the button to steal the next guy. Here we have perfect. We have a farmer. Not the best trades, but we do need some farmers. So what I can do is send him to the hall, and if we get a better farmer, we can pull him out of the hall for a farm. So get him over there. What else do we got? Ooh, cleric with gold trade on second. That's perfect. Uh, we won't know how good his redstone and lapis and glowstone and all that stuff trades are until we actually get him going, but only one way to find out. We'll send him over to unlock. If he sucks, we get a better one. We'll just replace him <laughs> permanently. Let's go ahead and make sure he has gold. Go ahead and just send a couple of those over there. We can try unlocking them. We may get one that's like a really good uh, glowstone trade, another one that's something else. But we want to keep a few of those over there until we have it. What else do we got in here? Oop, brown shirt. We don't need two leather workers. Definitely don't need two leather workers. And a librarian. Good. Yep. Lots of librarians. We're going to want all the books. All the books in the world. And another. And he is a cartographer. Let's not bother again. And we have another cartographer. Wow, he died fast. He must have taken some damage somewhere. Uh, barely reached. Okay. A Fletcher. I don't know that we need anything from a Fletcher. They they sell bows. I suppose you could potentially get one to build dispensers with? Yeah. You know what? No. You know what? There's enough skeleton grinders on the server that we can get to. I don't want to kill him. What am I doing? That we don't need him. Let's let's send him. Sorry about the smack in the face. You, sir, are, uh, set the track up right. Are gonna test out our next thing. So we want to put him on the left. Let's say we'll use that one for the farm. So we do that. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. He's gonna run around. Well, I guess we're using the right side <laughs> for these guys. Hmm. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get him a little more calm down when he runs out. I don't know why he ran so much. I guess I could wall off. I could just stick some blocks and push him in. That That would be the way to go. No harm done. Reset the tracks. And we have another librarian. Very good. Off to the trading hall for you. And a butcher. I don't think we have any use for a butcher. You know... I suppose you could set up a butcher for raw chicken and make an automatic chicken farm, but their only unlocking would be to buy cooked chicken, uh, cooked, I think it's, is it beef? I think they take beef, it might be pork, but I want to say it's, oh, it's whatever this is, it's pork, okay. So you can sell them pork and chicken. You could make an automatic chicken farm, but their literal only trades are these two, Plus the cooked, you can spend emeralds to get those two, or you can sell them coal. I guess you could unlock it with coal. I think you can trade charcoal in its place. So maybe down the road we want a butcher, but right now, let's not bother. He also seems to have had some damage. Alrighty. And, you know what, let's go a third cleric. He, ooh, he has a better gold trade to unlock him. You'll be the first one we play with. Off you go. Off you go. Let's just do a few more here. And then we'll go check on our farm. And then in the next episode, maybe a little bit in between, we will start unlocking villagers and get these guys actually doing something. Four clerics? Mm, no. You know what? I think we have enough for now. We can pull more out later if, we, if all ours are duds. Here we have a cartographer... 
and a armor. Now we're talking. Off you go. What can we get? I'll just fill these last few mine carts. Another librarian. Can never have too many librarians. Peace out. And another cartographer. Wow, there's a lot of those in there. Shepherd. Any reason to send a shepherd there? They literally just trade. Just give them wool for emeralds. Buy shears. Or you can uh, buy buy wool. They unlock the wool color trades. Um, no. <laughs> so let's see. We want that. That. Send him over. But this time, we don't want you to run where we don't want you to run. I don't need that. So, mm, no, I need to stand right there. So what we actually want to do is block off his ability to drop, block off his ability to run away, and then we can break his cart. And no matter what, he has no choice but to eventually go in there. Perfect. That works much better. Maybe I'll get fancy later and set up some pistons to make that a little more efficient, but that's not a big deal. Uh, librarian, but I accidentally blocked him. Flip the lever, send him to the hall. We got, what, two more? Two more. Let's see what we can end this on. I haven't pulled out a single nitwit. There we go. Okay, so nitwits, just simple as flip, flip, and send them across the thing. And then just the opposite. Block the other side, break the cart, in he goes. They're doing a pretty good job, but they're, I wonder if there's like zombie in a cave somewhere that's just pushing them around, because they are running right into those things for me. Very convenient. And another shepherd. Another shepherd. Off we go. You know, I think it, we can actually make this a little more easy to block in each time if we just kind of wall that off a little more. And then we just have to say, block, block the appropriate side. Yeah, we've got this down. And now he's going to be a jerk and just stand there. He's just he's staring at this other guy. Come on. But I, a lot of, there we go. I was like, he's stuck in the corner, though. Oh, he really wants to go to this other side. No. No, you don't. No. Come on. Well, you know what? We'll just leave him there for a minute until we need another person. Yeah. Try again. Of course. Of course. Oh, it's a farmer, though. You off to the trading hall. We have two possible farmers. We need to get the farms themselves set up. At least we've got some spares. And with our final mine cart. Nothing. Okay, it's starting, to, and this is the problem we're going to run to if I don't keep it f a bit more full. It's not always going to grab people, and the more empty it gets, the harder it's going to be. But that's fine. We can go turn our breeder back on. There we go. A leather worker. We already have a, yeah, no point in a second. Leather worker. Nitwit. Okay, so we need to fix this guy. He hasn't dropped down yet. He's very persistent on going into the wrong hole. Um, alright, we have another option. It's just gonna break everything. Oh, so... Where did he go? Did he... What? What? Is he... Is he inside the other village here now? It almost looked like there was two... What? Um... <laughs> um... So, what just happened? Let me make this guy move. I was going to... Okay, he did fall in. Alright, I was going to put water in the corner and shove him in. He was like standing perfectly inside that other villager. Looked like he completely disappeared. Wow. Okay, so we can do that. And fix the rail. I could shove him in each time, but I'd lose all the mine carts. So I don't want to do do that. Um, we want him um, to go that way and that way. Yep. So, off you go. And, oh wow, I almost need to stick a power drill right there. Let's see if he'll behave or if I have to shove him in with water. Of course, he wants to go on the other side. Eh? Go, go. Perfect. Thank you. What a kind guy you've been. So helpful. 
What else? Another shepherd. Well, we are just filling up on the shepherds today. <laughs> That's good, though, because we can use these guys for our farms. We need some worthless brown shirts. Gonna, I'm going to stand right here so you can't stick yourself in there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I almost sent that one in the wrong direction. Can we get one more? Give me something good. Another shepherd. Wow. How many shepherds are there in there? This is crazy. This is, this is such good television, isn't it? In the hole you go. Oh, wow. He, he's very good. They're figuring it out. They're figuring it out. He went right there. He knows what's up. What else do we got in there? Come on. Another nitwit. Okay, well... Let's just shove him in. We'll worry about we'll worry about more later. We've got plenty. We got plenty. Wall him off. Not right there. I I want the one gap on the side in case I have to kind of push him, nudge him in the right direction. Uh, da, da, da. That way. In you go. Wall you off. Fix your cart. Be a good villager. Bump, bump, bump. Aha! I, um, for those of you who watched my single player world, you will know that I, I don't have, okay, well, in my single player world, right, I, I have a Nitwit Village, I was gonna use it for viewers, but I haven't had the urge to play my single player in a while, and so I was considering moving something here in its place, so I might do that, that's why I'm collecting those, let's, Let's run over and peek at our trading hall now and see what it looks like. Alright, so it's working perfectly. It's filling in right around the edge and then empty where it should be. So very, very good. We've got a we got, we got the weapon smith and armor smith. Didn't get a tool smith yet. We'll keep working for that. I'll get more I'll fill this up off camera. Um, what did we get? One, two, three, four librarians to mess with. We got two farmers, didn't we? Or did we just... Hmm. Hmm. Did we not send two farmers over here? I swear we sent two farmers over here. Oh, we... S did we not? I'm going to look back. I swear we sent another farmer here. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? That's very strange. Hmm. Did I... Did I send him to the wrong place? I don't know. We'll check the footage. But anyway, that's going to do it. For this episode, I will now start preparations for, uh, oh, aha, uh -huh. I found him. Uh, looks like I need to increase, oops, increase the power level that's over here, or something, he must have stopped, right? Da, 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 da. Yeah, he just, oh. That's weird. You know what, probably, okay, so what happened is he stopped on here and the next villager was coming in and bumping him and pushing it along and then getting stuck there themselves because for some reason there was no torch right there. <laughs> Nudge you along. Nudge you along. There we go. Let's make sure there's no more of those. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode we'll, we'll start trading. We'll do some unlocking and things like that. So I'll start trying to farm some uh, materials to trade with. And we can mess with our farmers. And I never looked at this one, by the way. How was his trades? 18, 17. So he's much better than the other farmer, actually. So we'll start with him. And, oh, we've got another problem here. This guy, okay, so that was, that was the same thing from there. Let me see. I need to nudge him without nudging him down. He's standing on the other guy's head. You should be over there. Perfect. 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 Glitch is fixed. <laughs> All, all the damage one little torch can do. Alright. So, anyway. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Aid. Have a good one. Bye-bye.